Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to explain how to use functions and subroutines. Right here you can just write this code down quickly so I don't have to explain what it is. Basically it just runs and uh, pauses so that we can display whatever. So to start off we're going to need to define our function. Basically defining it is very similar to defining any variable. You have a data type, we're going to use integer, then give it a name, we're going to add, and then the difference is that we have parentheses. Inside the parentheses we can but don't have to have parameters. These parameters are basically declaring variables within this function that are only accessible within the function. For example we can do int x and then a int y and those will be our parameters for now and then we use squiggly brackets to show what's going to be what this function is anything in here whenever this function is called this code will be run and the most important thing in the code here is that you need to have a return and then something for example one this will work you probably don't want that you probably want to have something using your parameters if you have any for example x plus y which would make sense adding this plus this um, this is a really bad example because there's no reason you would add these two things you just use the plus operator down here and but whatever the point is that we're just showing how it works. Basically, what this does is that when we call it, for example, just calling the name and then the arguments, add and then in parentheses, and then whatever we need inside the parentheses, here we have two things, two integers, so we need to have, say, a 1, comma, 3. And then this will work. Basically, what happens here is it starts off with int main because the main thing it just starts off with it um, and then it runs hits this code add okay we already ran across this this is a function that we wrote so the computer comes here runs this code so it's going to return x plus y which is 1 plus 3 so that's going to be 4 basically replacing right here if you had a big 4 that's the same thing that it would do so we can do a C out and then we can display this 4 here if we run it. Wait for it to compile and then there we have a 4. Congratulations, you have your first function down. Another thing is that the biggest reason why we have functions is so that you can use them multiple times. Um, if you want, you can copy this, paste it down here, so we want to do it with a different number. So we're, now we're going to get a 4 and an 8. And there you go. Um, basically the point is that you run it. You don't actually even have to run it in the code. And it will still operate perfectly fine. If we run it. It just sits there blank because that's what the initial code does. It doesn't ever have to run this. It always just starts at the int main. So that's basically a function. What we could do is we could eliminate the parameters in it, or you can have more or less, doesn't really matter how many you have, but when you call it, you have to have them correspond. You can't have any arguments here, because if you do, it's not going to match, so it just won't work right. Here, we don't have this, so you can just put a 1. Like this, it's not useful, because it's always going to return the same thing. Might as well use the variable. If we want to say use A, we're going to change A a couple times within the program. So we want to show it sometimes here and there. Okay, great. And then we can return A and then we'll show that. Whatever, that works. And that's your basic function. A subroutine, basically the same thing, except instead of having a data type, it is void. And then you can't return 
a value because it's trying to return nothingness. So you can have a return with nothing that will work. Otherwise, you can just have your code, which is going to be probably like a C out and then one, whatever, if that's what you want to do. Go ahead. Then we can run that and then wait for it to compile. And then here we have it does one. If we want it to stop early, so we have a conditional, and then we want it to stop because of that, and whatever we might have it set up, we can do, like I said earlier, return with no value, and then here it will return nothing and just stop right when it hits this line. Whenever it hits the first return, it will stop. So it won't ever display that one that we're trying to display here. And that works. Basically, a function is used when you're dis when you're trying to return one value. If you're trying to return multiple values, for example, if you have this, and then you want to see out a two also. If you're returning like none or more, then you're going to use a subroutine because you can't return nothing with an integer here and you can't return two values with an integer unless you're using arrays but that could get messy either way you probably want to, that's still technically one thing so the point is you're going to have a subroutine for no returns or multiple returns without having technically a return value or else use a function if you're returning one value and that's basically it for functions and subroutines. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.